and they don't know why uh, TikTok and Meta have been flagging all of their museum's work. I want to talk about art censorship okay. on social media platforms. In 2019, Instagram flagged v- the Vienna Museum's post of Peter Rawl Rubin's painting. If anyone is, you know, super into art and knows who that is, uh, they were flagged for violating community standards. The art was like too raunchy for them. And the most infamous example of art censorship was in 2018. Facebook do- Facebook took down the Natural History Museum of Vienna's photo of a 25,000 year old Venus of Willendorf statue. And this statue basically looked like an, uh, a fertility goddess with the huge bosom and just, you know, very mm-hmm. f- fertile body. Naked. Um, and they said because she was too busty, but it was just like literally a, a statue. And then most recently, and sorry, this is focusing on Vienna. I don't know why, and they don't know why uh, TikTok and Meta have been flagging all of their museum's work, but for some reason they are. So most recently, Vienna's Albertina Museum's TikTok was suspended and then banned in July for showing photographs of naked women taken by artist Nobayoshi Araki. And then in September, the Leopold Museum launched a campaign to celebrate its 20th anniversary, uh, and they posted art by Colm and Moser, and Facebook flagged it as potentially pornographic. This could be pornographic. Like, is it or is it not? It's It's fucking art. Art, babe. Helena Hartlauer, head of media relations at the Vienna Tourist Board, said, censorship might lead to some unconscious self-censorship sense self-censorship when artists start to make art differently or collectors assemble their collections in a different way because they know a tool as strong as social media would not show or promote certain types of art i've never really considered that Mm -hmm. i think in in my view had always been like okay instagram's not letting me post sexy stuff where can i post it somewhere else where can i move to because this isn't working well and also like my like my annoying opinion is like art is highbrow and social media is very much not it's like, lowbrow yeah it's like it's one of those things where like obviously censorship is bad and like we shouldn't do it of course but also like i do i do understand from a business perspective like social media public platforms where there are all kinds of people they don't have the ability like it's not a person going through uh every time being like this is bad. This is bad. It's, it's like people some, reporting it. And then an algorithm, like, a, and then a system takes it down or flags it or sends an email. It's not always a person. So, like, they have a set of parameters, of mm-hmm. course. Um, and some things get taken down. And, like, it's so easy to be like, and I firmly believe it is art. It should not be censored. It should not be taken down. That is my absolute Especially stance. Especially because on Instagram, you are allowed to post nudity if it's part of art or education. Right. And so it's like, it is I, I think it's in, I would be really curious to know why and how this one account is like taking all of the beating for like the entire art world. It's not just one account. It's it's different. It looks like it's like three or four different accounts. Mm-hmm. TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. So where are they going to put their shit? Well, in museums. Austria's tourism. <laughs> where they belong. Wait, let me let me say where are they going to put their stuff? Austria's tourism board really pulled through with this insane campaign that's it's uh, okay I'll just tell you guys <laughs> they're like if we can't post our stuff on social media we're gonna put it on OnlyFans so for $4.99 oh, cool. a month you can see artworks of Egon Schiele, Amedio Modigliani and a lot of other famous people um, if you subscribe to Vienna Tourist Board so it's OnlyFans.com slash Vienna Tourist Board uh, early. If you subscribe to it early, you get a free ticket to see all the stuff in the flesh. Um, Helena, the tourism board lady, was like, we're very, you know, pro whatever in Vienna. Like, we're down to fuck. 